as we came in, we were given nine mandate areas and we structured our strategy around these mandate areas. And as we speak, we have been able to tick all the boxes. We've been able to achieve all our mandates. Some of them have been conclusively achieved. Some of them are still ongoing. But we've been able to touch every mandate that has been given to us. Undoubtedly, the infrastructure area is an area where the Buhari administration can claim commendable and very, very salutary progress. Bridges like the local Oweto has been completed. The link road to Benue completed. We're finishing the link road to Nasarawa. The Umfum Bamenda Bridge linking Nigeria and Cameroon is completed. The Chachangi Bridge also completed. The Ecom Bridge also completed. The road map is actually a response to the situation that the sector found itself. Was look, where do we want to be in ten years' time? So they brought in a lot of industrial experts, academics, and they all sat down and did what we call a short, medium, and long-term perspective of where we should be and what we should pursue uh, to get to those points. Nigeria has energy deficiency, and coal is one of the efficient ways, though it has its waste of producing energy. So the roadmap essentially was looking at those minerals uh, that we could effectively take to the industrial level in the short term. We are targeting universal health coverage. You have to make healthcare accessible, affordable, and uh, acceptable to the people. And the quality must be good enough. We intend to upgrade the primary healthcare center, make sure it has solar power, light, or any other source of lighting. And also we have water supply and a staff quarter. Once you have that, you have a platform for reaching a whole community. The master plan for the Niger Delta is tailored towards improving the Niger Delta holistically, from education to agriculture, to management of the oil resources, to ensuring that funds available for development are uh, felt by the people of the Niger Delta. On assumption of office in August of 2019, we rallied the leadership and the staff of the ministry and the agencies, services that are with us to fully understand the mission of the ministry and its strategic role in protecting Nigerians, ensuring their safety and securing both their lives and property and the territorial integrity of the Nigerian space. I discovered that what was missing in Nigeria and in the ICT sector then was digital economy. And digital economy is strongly recommended to have its own ministry or to have its own special office for its coordination. After the review, I went to His Excellency Mr. President to brief him and uh, he was convinced that uh, there was a need to have a ministry that will champion the implementation of a digital economy in Nigeria. The Ministry of Defense, as the supervisory ministry of the armed forces, has continued to evolve new innovative solutions geared towards building capability and capacity of the armed forces through policy guidelines, platforms, and equipment acquisition. <laughs>